best sale ever! Hi, welcome back. Hair's been sorted. Thanks for all your concerns. eBay's been pretty strange this week, I'd say. Up and down, I said it before. A £20 days, £400 day. So from a £20 day to the next day being a £400 day. Um, and then there's been up and, up and down since then. So... Yes, it's we're coming on Friday, uh, what day is, uh, Saturday, Saturday the 9th of Jan, Friday the 8th of Jan is going down in my history books as the best day on eBay I've ever had, and that's not no word of a lie, that is probably is the best day I've, I've had. I've had, I had better days last year uh, throughout the first lockdown. Um, I was buying and selling chalk. I'd sold two tons of chalk throughout lockdown when people were doing all the um, NHS rainbows and stuff like that. Um, I couldn't get enough chalk. Um, and I'd, I'd made a lot of money, but not the same amount of profit. This is the best single profit item I've ever sold. Before we get into that, uh, there is some other sales as well, um, and there's quite a lot of records, so yeah, I'll have to do that as well. Um, but first of all, other sales. First of all, Polly Pocket, now I paid 50 pence for this, uh, the old Bluebird Polly Pocket. Um, there was four for two quid. This is the last one. This was the most expensive one. Uh, let's open it. And it's a vet, I think. Is it a vet? No, I think it's just a just a house. But it's got the dog. It is missing a figure. Which it does, they do so. I mean, to have any figures in a poly pocket um, increases the value quite a lot. Um, so it's missing one, but it's got two. And I think the dog is the the um, the big one, the big seller on this one. Um, so that sold for forty quid, thirty nine ninety nine. Um, next next up, kitchen stuff. Hold on. Um, I sold a wok. Well, I sold two woks. Masterclass heavy duty uh, wok. Uh, they're on eBay. I've got like a stack. I had like a stack of thirty of them, and I've got them on for thirty-five quid. They're quite heavy, so the postage is a bit on them. Um, but somebody bought two of them. Um, so the po yeah, two two woks for it was just under seventy pound. So again. This is all that. This is all yesterday sales. Before I get into the biggie, let's do the records. Uh, first up, we've got ABC in Alphabet City. Um, now, very helpfully, ABC have included the lyrics for me because um, I do know the song, but I don't know the words. So it goes something like. When Smokey sings, I hear violins. When Smokey sings, I forget everything. Next up, um, this is called Revelation. Just be dub to me. Just be dub to me. Now I thought when I sold, when this come through and, and sold, um, it was. Beats International. It's not. It's like a, a hard dance version. Um, again, if you want to listen to any of the tracks, if you go over to my Instagram, Brum underscore reseller, you'll be able to listen to everything there. But Beats International was a really good track. Um, I remember this from back in the day. Um, I'm sure you remember it. Uh, it goes something like, Tent, fly, boss, walk, jam, nitty gritty. You're listening to the boys from the big bad city. This is Jam Hot. Up underground distortion, everything is large, uh, which is like a, 
a garage song, garage track is pretty good. Um, it gets something like boom, 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 boom. Everything is large. Next up, uh, All Saints, Silver Shadow. Never heard of it. I've heard of All Saints, never heard of this track. Um, it's pretty boring. It just they just sing Silver Shadow. Next up, Michael, the Mullet, Bolton, Soul Provider album, I think. So boring, so boring. I'm not even gonna sing it. He's even provided me with the words. I'm not gonna sing Michael Bolton. Next track was Size 9 versus The Rockefellers, I'm Ready. Um, it's pretty repetitive. It sounds a bit like Lil Lewis, French Kiss, if you know that. Um, but it just goes like... Uh, next one, this is the second most expe expensive record that I'd sold. Um, it's called Ultimate Buzz, Rofo's Theme, Bounce Master, live in Dublin. Now... I'm not going to attempt this one because it's just like a hardcore bomb, 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 bomb. Um, yeah, 20 quid for that. And the last track and the most expensive one that sold recently in the last two days. Uh, PGL Sunshine. That sold for 40 quid, 39.99. Um, it's not produced by anyone that I recognise and I don't think I've heard of it before. But... The thing with dance music is everyone's got their own favourite track and a lot of the times they'll pay whatever to get it, um, especially DJs, if they want it and there's not many out there, you can uh, command higher prices. Um, so that's what happened with that one. There wasn't many on eBay. I always check Discogs, see what the prices are on Discogs, although I'm not a fan of Discogs. Um, I don't like their postage options and their pricing options i think you can get better money on ebay um but yeah how does it go it just it just goes da 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 and that concludes today's record singing session um next up i'll show you the biggest sale i have ever had Right, it's all the way up there. And I don't know how I'm gonna get it down because the ladders have gone. Right, oh, there we have it. It's not massively heavy, but it's massive. Uh, Neo Zeon, Neo Zeon, full frontals, customized mobile armor for new type. Um, 116 inches, oh no, anyway. So, the so the story behind this um, is similar. I've recently sold like a, a stack of them, 
um, like six six figures, not these, not this big, but six um, these Gundams, Gundam figures, and obviously they vary in size. Um, I'm presuming this is the biggest one you can get. Um, so last year, now I listed them. I went back and checked. It was May. I picked these up. Um, went to Nottingham in May. Spent two hundred and fifty quid on thirty figures. Now, if my maths is correct, that's seven pound fifty per item. Um, this was the biggest one. This was the most expensive one. Um, there wasn't much on eBay um, worldwide. I think there was one in America. <coughs> um, so I put it on top end with offers. Um, I put it on for £799 with offers. I mean, if any offers come in, uh, I would have considered it. So, guy messaged me. Hi, are you, are, do you live in the UK? It was the first question. I was like, yes, I'm UK based. Because I'm presuming this type of figure... They come in from Japan, China. Um, so it will take much longer to get here. So I said, yeah, I'm in the UK. Then thought nothing of it. Then another message saying, um, hi, um, if I buy this item, um, please don't don't include the, the price because it's a present. But that's fine. The price wouldn't be on it anyway. Um, and can you can you deliver it uh, for Wednesday or Thursday? I was like, yeah, that's I can do that as well. That's fine. Um, all of a sudden, paid up full price, seven hundred and ninety nine pounds. You can buy a car for that. Um, and someone's just spent eight hundred quid on a what's just a, a big figure you put it together and it's a big figure i've never ever ever thought i'd get that's like a i've done that percentage it was it's like a nine thousand percent return on investment seven pound fifty um that was after fees so i got in i got into managed payments i think it was like 690 so after fees 690 um, so that's about nine thousand percent return on investment. It, I don't think I'm ever going to get something like that again. Um, and it's like the, good, the other good thing: it's a big item. It's taken a lot of space up there on on the shelf, and it's gone. It's going to be going out the door to its new home. Um, yeah, I can't believe. I I'm still can't believe that it's it's sold for the full asking price. I mean, these Gundam guys are crazy. I, it, was, it wasn't that long ago. It was only a couple of videos ago that I sold a stack for 300. I never thought I'd get... I never thought I'd get the full asking for that. I really didn't. So, Friday... It was a thousand pound day. I'll put the graph up just so you can see how ridiculous the sales graph looks. I mean, it makes my 400 pound day look stupid. It looks like a 20 pound day. But, you know, I never, you know, we all know it swings and roundabouts with eBay, but when you start hitting them figures, it's just amazing. I mean, you know, that's like when I was employed, that's half my month's salary in a in a in a day. Half my month done. And I'd have you know, I'd have to do eighty hours worth of work um in two weeks to get that. So to do it in ten minutes, it makes it all worthwhile. It makes the dis the decision to leave um, you know, much easier. It doesn't it, it kind of proves that what I'm doing is the right is made the right choice. So, record store update. I've had a guy come in. We've measured up. We're going out to sort of here. We're doing an L shape down there. L to the wall, and he's going to create some um, 
holders, vinyl holders to put the records in. Um, he'll do that um, over the next couple of weeks. So that's that's an update there. And I've sold um, all my flasks. Um, somebody who bought them before messaged me to ask if I had any left. I was like, yes, I do. That's seven boxes. Bought all seven boxes. So I'll go and deliver them because I'm currently closed. Um, but yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. I can't, you know, I'm still dreaming about yesterday's sales. I just can't get my head around it. Um, it's really boosted my um, weekly sales because it wasn't going. You kind of expect it in January, but it wasn't going. Um, just think, you know, in in November, October, November, December, you get used to the. 180 a day so when it drops you like oh you gotta put more work in more work into it but when something like that comes through you're like buzzing can't believe it uh so thanks for watching thanks for all the new subscribers if you enjoy the content why not drop a subscribe and yeah if you've got any questions drop it down in the comments below but um yeah i'll see you in the next video see you later. Bye -bye. oh i just forgot i've got to get a thumbnail this would be fun.